After working for 10 years as an engineer, Jim Ingram listened to the entrepreneurial voices in his head, and he thought ice cream. His dad had spent his career in ice cream with Hood and Howard Johnson's, and he's contributed mightily to the success of Jim's new venture, Mount Tom Ice Cream. Connecting Point programming intern T.J. Hannigan and producer Dave Fraser take us to East Hampton for this Making It Here report. I decided to do something different, and I had a lot of thought about what that might be, and it just sort of landed me in ice cream. Just, I had all this engineering background. It just didn't seem like something I should do, but it's something I wanted to do. So, you know, this is my chance to do something different. I give it five years. If it doesn't work, yeah, it was a good experience. It's something I can write stories about if, and go back to engineering and do something else. And that was, that was 10 years ago. When I started, decided to do my own ice cream shop, I had this image in my head of what mine would look like, and it was old-fashioned hardwood floors, high tin ceilings, that kind of thing. And I had a friend out here in Western Mass. I told her what I was thinking about doing, and she said, oh, I know a guy. And uh, the next morning, I came by to look at it, and I looked in the window, and as soon as I saw it, I just knew this was the space. Not really being from this town, I didn't think it would be available. I thought there'd be 15 different things called Mount Toms, and, and there really wasn't, so it just made sense. And came up, my friend came up with a really cool logo to go with it, and now people don't even have to say Mount Tom's homemade ice cream, they just say Mount Tom's. And I guess the one downside is a lot of people call me Tom, but I answer to it, because... <laughs> when I first found this place, I, what I had to do is build a kitchen in the back. It was just a, basically a dark closet, so I uh, bought all the equipment. Uh, the main, main thing to make ice cream is a batch freezer, and uh, the one I have is a 20-quart batch freezer, so basically it makes two of the buckets in, the, in my shop. It's basically five gallons at a time. So you take the raw mix, um, add flavoring to it, put it into this batch freezer, and what it does is it slowly churns it and freezes it till it gets to a point of around 28 degrees kind of like soft serve consistency, then it will come out of the, the barrel and I'll add other ingredients to it and then put it into what's called a hardening cabinet or blast freezer. And that overnight will freeze it to 20 below zero to get rid of all the ice crystals, make it super creamy and uh, great. And then the next morning you actually warm it up and it's ready to serve. A lot of the, the flavors that I have are pretty traditional, ones that I've started. Um, I have about 45 flavors that I have all the time cookie dough, chocolate chip, pistachio, all the things you'd expect in an old-fashioned candy store. Um, the new and special flavors that I make have a rotating amount, uh, number of flavors, probably close to 200 at this point that I've come up with over the last 10 years. Pretty normal stuff and some more adventurous flavors like lavender, rose and cardamom, uh, strawberry basil, things that not everybody would want but the things that people would look in the, uh, the menu and say, oh, that's interesting, I really want to try that. Ideas for flavors come from a lot of different places. Sometimes I'll just see it. I'll be in a checkout line and I'll see dark chocolate with almond and sea salt candy bar. Hmm, I could make an ice cream flavor out of that. Or we have a suggestion jar in the shop. Typical customer I usually, usually describe as sort of kids of all ages. It's all ranges, really. Anybody who likes ice cream. When I was a kid, I used to go to an old-fashioned candy store in my hometown. And my parents would take us there and we were good. Or sick or something and the memories I have of that are so positive and to be able to be that for people and families now is just awesome and I, you know, that's why I look forward to coming to work every day. 